Hey, what's going on, Fixer? Um, I saw your video on minimum wage slash overtime, and I figured I'd give you a video reply to that. Um, but before I start getting into the meat of the matter, I just figured I would... I want to clarify something for not not really for you, but for other people that might watch this, and for you, for that matter. Uh, any disagreement that you or you and I might have on the f fact that minimum wage laws should or should not exist doesn't mean that one of us is on one side of the employer-employee relationship and one's on the other. In other words. I think it's pretty safe to assume that you approach this from the side of the worker or the employee uh, and that you believe that the minimum wage laws protect the worker. And there's nothing wrong with that. I don't agree with it, but there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, doesn't mean that, and, and I think you, I think Fixer would would understand that just because I don't agree with doesn't mean I want the worker to get screwed. I mean, I'm a worker, so what, that would be kind of ridiculous for me to believe that something that would be detrimental to me. Um, do I want to screw the guy that's down at the bottom trying to make his way? To the, no. Uh, am I looking at it from the point of view of the employer? No. I'm not an employer. I've never been an employer. I've been a boss, but I've never been a, an employer, you know, that paid wages or or what have you. So I figured I would just kind of lay that out. I'm not against the worker any more than I'm for the employer. <clears throat> so I think this whole debate comes down to one thing that you said in your video that I looked at and I thought, man. This is the whole crux of the matter, from just the minimum wage point, not, not, nothing to do with overtime. Um, you said that companies are only going to pay what they have to pay. And I thought, hmm, we're talking about minimum wage. So this could mean a few things, really, if you think about it. We're talking about minimum wage laws, and you say companies are only going to pay what they have to pay. If I translate that, or if I interpret that to mean that they're only going to pay what they're required to pay by law, then the conversation would be over, because that's just flat not true. I mean... You couldn't even argue that it's true because if that was true, then everybody would be getting paid minimum wage. So if that's what you meant, then I guess what do you want to talk about next? Because I mean that would that would be how simple that would be. But I don't know if it's a more likely interpretation or whatever. But you might have meant. Companies are only going to pay what you what they have to pay. They're going to pay a guy what he's worth. They're only going to pay what they have to pay. In other words, if I'm an employer, and let's say I'm starting a business tomorrow, and I decide eh, I'm only going to pay a nickel an hour. I said this before, but nobody's going to come and work for me. So I'm going to have to pay more. Companies are only going to pay what they have to pay. When is that going to get to the point of enough money to get somebody to do the work that I need done? I'm only going to pay what I have to pay. It's going to go up to a point where both of us agree on it. And if that's the case then, hey, I guess we're in agreement because I believe that's the way things ought to work. But I also don't believe that we should set some arbitrary floor or minimum wage. I don't think that 
me, if I want, if I want to go out and find a job, and I'm willing to work for four dollars an hour, why should anybody make that illegal? Oh, because others might not want to work for that. I don't know. I just don't see. So I would need that clarification before we could talk about anything else dealing with minimum wage, really. Um, you said something that I really agree with. I, don't, I wouldn't have said it this way. You said you don't like the idea of dirt bags in the workplace. It's frustrating to work in a place where you're doing the same job as someone else, but you're doing it better. They're getting paid the same amount of money as you are. I'm with you on that, buddy. But that's an argument on my side, not yours. The dirt bag's there because he's getting paid. Doesn't matter how good or how bad he does it, he's going to get that minimum wage at least. So I don't know how that would, I don't know why I even bring that up. Oh, we should make wages higher. That'll attract better workers. You could do that without minimum wage. But if a worker wants, if, a, if an employer wants good workers, and it's your belief that giving them better wages are going to bring in better workers, it would be in his interest to give them better pay. So we're in agreement there too. Do you think that the employer is really going to want dirt bags there if they're not getting the job done? If you look at it from the point of view of if you were starting your own business, what would you want? If you wanted good guys, you're going to have to pay them. It's a two way street, man. Employer employee relationship. You think that, oh, only employers can take advantage of the situation. My wife's worked quite a few jobs, a uh, couple of minimum wage, in fact, since since we've been married and she was at one point she'd already gotten a raise so she wasn't making minimum wage at this time but she was pulled aside by her supervisor and told essentially was told to not be so productive she was outperforming guys that had been working at this factory for 10 years because she has a she has a, about as good as a work ethic if I as I've ever seen anybody. She was performing so well at her job, she was told by her supervisor to stop being so good because you're making everybody look bad. And it wasn't because those people couldn't work as hard as she was. It's because they just didn't want to. You ever heard of anybody calling in sick at their job? when they really weren't sick. That happens. In some cases, they're getting paid for that. That's stealing money from your boss. I mean, I can bring out some things like that too that, you know, everybody wants to look at the employer as the bad guy. I just like to look at things the way they should be that makes sense, not one or the other is good or evil. And I don't think either one of them are. I know I one of my... One of the things that I've always wanted to kind of do is have my own business. For one, one reason or another, I just never did. I almost did here once. I was going to buy a, a, a store that sold wigs. But my wife and I talked about it. We didn't, we didn't do it. But um, I'd want to have good workers. And in order to keep those people working for you, I'd want to pay them well. I think if, if everybody just thinks about that, if you had your own business, what would you want to do? Makes sense. You'd give, them, give somebody the amount of money that they're worth to keep them there. There's a value. We can't just arbitrarily set that value. So looks like I'm up on my 10-minute mark. I don't know if I clarified anything with uh, Fixer or not, but I figured I'd reply and see where it goes from there. Talk to you later.